I'm back in a Hello Kitty sweatshirt. Um, I just wanted to check in about materials because sometimes people might be thinking, I don't have a canvas, I don't have an easel. How am I gonna do art? Well, there's good news. Cause all you really need is a spiral notebook or a notebook if you have it with blank sheets in it. Oops, with old drawings. Or you could use plain lined paper or just copy paper. The other issue is, well, what do I draw with? Simple, grab any pencil or grab a pen. So it's easy. You can find something to draw with and some kind of paper around. I'm sure of it. So this book is about New York City and all the murals in New York City. Um, New York City is the Mecca of graffiti. Um, here, throughout the book, it has lots of different graffiti styles and lots of different um, handwriting styles. Um, sometimes it's harder to read them. I like the ones that are clearer, but they're absolutely beautiful pieces of art nonetheless. So this book is fantastic. Um, and I just want to give you a chance to look through that. So this is a picture of Bas by Basquiat. And there was supposed to be a presentation at the Museum of Fine Arts, but that was canceled. So I would love to do some graffiti art today in honor of Basquiat. This is the regular style graffiti we're gonna work on. And these are some of the styles of bubble letters. All right, we're gonna start with the letter B. You can just write down the letter B. You can do this in pencil. And then to make it into bubble letters, you just make bubbles around each line. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now all I need to do is erase the middle. And then obviously wherever there's a place where it is gone, I just fill it in. And I can actually do that, make it look better. It's just to give you an, a frame for what the bubble looks like around the edge. And There's your B. Okay, so this is a spiral notebook and a pencil, and I'm gonna do the letter A. So you draw like you would a normal A, and that's gonna be your frame, your guide. You're gonna use make an edge like that. You're gonna come down and make a line like that. Come up, you're just outlining it. And now you still have the A in there. And all you're gonna do is make that. So you have the A inside. All you did was outline it around the edge. Okay, and now what I can do is I can take a pen or a Sharpie, and I happen to have a Sharpie, I'm just gonna use that. It's hard to open. And just outline quickly. And then as I outline, I may make little mistakes. It doesn't matter. We can turn that into cool art, okay? After you outline it, then you can erase away. Cool, I just did my first letter. I'll show you how you erase. Careful not 
to erase over the ink if it's still wet, it'll smear. Boop, 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 boop. Tomorrow, you guys, we are going to focus on coloring and shading and how to make our letters look amazing. And we'll continue learning how to draw them. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you soon. Bye. This book is incredibly inspirational and I want to just flip through some of the pages so you can see gorgeous murals that are up in um, New York City. Some are more simple and these were from an earlier time. These are the letters. Okay. We are filming. Okay. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Continues to read. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay. 